Welcome to this AQA GCSE Chemistry Paper 1 exam question review on metal compounds for the higher tier students. Pause the video at different points to check your understanding before you continue. Good luck! The first part of the question provided you with some information. Green copper carbonate, underlined, and sulfuric acid can be used to produce blue copper sulfate crystals. You were also informed that excess copper carbonate was added to the sulfuric acid. To help you break down the question, please pay attention to the details on the screen. 1. The blue color observed was due to the reaction with carbonate ions. 2. The blue color is mainly due to the formation of a soluble salt. 3. The copper and sulfate ions dissociate as the copper sulfates dissolve in the water. 4. Sulfuric acid is used in the reaction, so a gas must be produced. 5. AQA also provides some key information, excess copper carbonate was added to the acid. You now need to think of three observations you can make from the points above. Answers for this part of the question is on the screen. Green copper would be a solid or powder. Blue copper sulfate crystals form, then the solution should be colorless. Copper carbonate disappear for fully reacted. Fizzing effervescence or gas observed. Fizzing stop when the reaction is complete. Solid powder left behind. The second part of the question asks what you can use to remove excess copper carbonate. This is asking what separation technique could you use to separate a solid. The third part of the question asks you to think about its pH if the solution now is colorless from the previous answer. The fourth part of the question asks you to name the type of reaction between an acid and a carbonate. The answers are on the screen. If you did not get these correct, pause the video and review before you continue. The final part of the question asks you to read off data from a graph. You need to focus on the information given to determine the mass of cooling 100 cm3 from 80 to 20. Read the points from 80 and then 20 since that was the instruction you were given and find the difference. Answer on screen. Reading data from the graph. At 80 degrees Celsius equals 83 grams. At 20 degrees Celsius equals 32 grams. 83 minus 32 is equal to 51 grams. Please take time to review similar questions since these are likely to be tested on your exams. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow, share and leave a comment. Link to my website is in the bio for more information. Thanks for watching.